Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mondo Gecko and Kerma 2-pack. I think they're calling this a 2-pack because it was $39.99 for some reason and Muckman was only $29.99. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Uh, it does kind of suck to be caught off guard like that. I thought they were both going to be about 30 bucks, And the only thing that kind of makes sense to me is that they're calling this one a 2-pack because it does come with two full-size figures you know so maybe that's where they're coming from in any case i'm still super happy to have this because i actually found it in target and that really doesn't happen for me very often when it comes to the neca animated turtle stuff and that kind of sucks because i absolutely love this line this is probably one of my favorite figure lines out there and i really don't get to review as many of the figures as i would like because i don't get them soon enough and you know i know it's never too late to review a figure but sometimes these figures are such a hassle to get and they take so long that I just don't have the energy to put together reviews for them. But I absolutely love the line. I think NECA's killing it and I'm super happy to have one early and without a hassle. I was able to just walk into Target and pick this guy up. No problem. Same with Muckman. And now I'm all excited to talk about them. But let's go ahead and get into it starting off with the awesome packaging. You can see Mondo Gecko doing his thing. It says Shred Mondo Shred. That's awesome. Really nice looking artwork right here. We do have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in that classic font down there. It says Nickelodeon and over here it says NECA. On the side of the box it does say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and then once again it says Shred Mondo Shred. On the back, we get some cool looking artwork of Mondo and Kerma doing their thing here. And then we get some awesome shots of the figures themselves. So that's dope. And this is nice looking artwork too. So I like that. This side looks the same as the opposite side. So that's okay. And then when you open this up, we get a look at Mondo Gecko. And then we get a look at the figures in there with all the cool accessories that they come with. And yeah, as you can see, it's two, two figures, you know, Mondo Gecko is obviously a full size figure, but Kerma here looks to be a pretty good size figure too. So we'll see how he is. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at these two awesome looking right, figures. So here we have Mondo Gecko and Kerma. And right out of the box, both of these figures are very impressive. I really like the way they look, but they are NECA figures. So I did have to go through my standard NECA opening process, which is to take the figures out of the box very slowly, put them under hot water, and then move the joints very carefully. I don't rush anything when it comes to NECA figures. I haven't really had that much bad luck when it comes to their stuff, but I know that they are notorious for joints breaking and things like that. So I'm just always cautious. And in the last year, I feel like NECA has really improved on the QC. I didn't really have any problems with the NECA Frankenstein, the NECA Homelander, and a lot of the recent Turtle stuff has been all good. But still, it's a good idea just to be careful, warm them up, take it easy, don't rush anything, and if you do that, you should be okay. And thankfully with these guys, after a little bit of hot water, everything freed up. I really didn't have any joints that caused too much concern other than uh, Kerma's shoulder. It was a little tight, but the hot water freed it up. And then the same thing goes for Gecko's ankles and his elbows. So after a little bit of heat, we were good to go. I will say there's quite a bit of paint chipping on Mondo Gecko, but it's really just in the joints because for some reason NECA paints the joints like after the figure set, you know, so like the figure will be like this and then they paint over the joint and I don't think there's paint like going all the way down in here. It's just where it's exposed. So it's like they paint it after it's kind of put together, I guess. I don't know what's going on, but there's quite a bit of paint chipping right in there. So it's not a big deal. I mean, it's, pr it's interesting that they even decide to paint the joints because that's, that's, kind of tough because the rest of the figure has such a stylized paint job and if you try to get the joints to match that it's not really going to work out once you start moving the figures around uh, but you know that's something that you might notice when you start moving the figures that there's quite a bit of paint chipping but I wouldn't really consider that like a bad QC issue it's just that they decide to paint the joints and when you move the figures around the paint comes off so it is what it is it doesn't really uh, mess up the way the figures look or anything but yeah now that that's out of the way, I really, really like these. Both of these guys came out very nice. Uh, Mondo Gecko is freaking awesome. I've always liked the animated look for Mondo Gecko more than the action figure look. I was never a big fan of the way he looked as a toy. I had it and, you know, I loved it as a kid or whatever. But looking back on it, I don't think the design is as cool for the toy as it was for the animated series. So I'm glad that uh, this is the version we have. And you know, if you want one that looks exactly like the toy, the Super 7 one is gonna be out pretty soon. But if you want a really good looking, cartoon accurate Mondo Gecko, then obviously the NECA one is the way to go. But this thing came out very, very nice. 
and uh, we'll take a close look at the details in just a second here but yeah right out of the box i'm pretty satisfied with what we have going on here so far and then we have Kerma, and this is a really nice looking figure too, but to be honest with you, I don't remember this character at all. I actually had to look him up, and from what I was able to find, this figure does look very accurate to the way that he looked in the show, so that's nice. And yeah, this thing came out really, really good, very well sculpted, really nice paint work. He's got a little bit of articulation, not a whole lot. I'll go ahead and show you that now. His head does go side to side. Oh, there we go. His head goes side to side. It's got a little bit of tilt to it. He could look up to right there, and then he could look down to right there, and then the arms do go around like that, and then they hinge out to the side. There's no elbow joints or anything, and then his hands do have a swivel, and then his legs are able to swivel. So yeah, not a whole lot of articulation, but you know, I don't know if the character needs it, to be honest with you. He looks just like a little dude that just kind of hangs out i guess i don't know i don't know if this figure or if this character actually like fights and jumps around and you know that kind of thing but uh <laughs> i don't know i do think that he looks cool though and i like that they put a little bit of articulation in there so at least you could do some stuff with it and yeah i don't know if this necessarily justifies like the the price of like a two-pack and i know this set wasn't exactly the same price as a two-pack so you know they kind of they kind of met us halfway with it you know this is it is a pretty extravagant accessory, you know, it's more than just a gun or an extra set of hands, but I don't know if it's, like, a full-on extra figure, so I guess, I guess the price makes sense, you know, they didn't price it as much as a two-pack, but they did price it a little bit higher than a uh, standard deluxe NECA figure, so I don't know, but yeah, I think this is a cool accessory, and one thing about this is that, <laughs> you know, it's gonna add a lot of depth to your turtle display, because this is one of those kind of things where it's like, you know, what is that? It looks familiar. I don't know. You kind of, something tells you that you might know what it is, but you can't really put your finger on it. Like with Mondo Gecko, it's like, oh yeah, I remember him. I had that figure back in the day or same thing for Muckman or, you know, Metalhead or those type of characters. But with this one here, you see it and you go, damn, that's definitely a Ninja Turtle character, but I just don't know what it is. You know, I can't pull it. But, you know, you put this on your shelf and it just kind of adds some depth and some, like, history, you know? It just kind of makes it look a little deep with it. But, yeah, I think this is a cool accessory. And both of these figures just came out really, really nice. But let's go ahead and get in close and take a look at some of the details on these guys. All right, so starting off with Kerma, I think this is a really good-looking figure. I really like his facial expression, <laughs> that big, goofy smile. I like how we have the dark colors around the eyes. It kind of makes him look like an like a tired old character kind of but he's still like very happy and silly you know so i think this is cool i don't know if that's accurate to the actual attitude of the character but he just seems like a old squirrely like wise offbeat kind of master of something you know it's kind of the the vibe i get from this but i like it a lot it looks really cool i like all the little details that we see on there the black little circles on the head and then down on the neck and i like how we have them on the hand as well and then his little robe looks really good too. I like how we have the blue belt, some more black lines that look really nice. And like I said, he doesn't have any articulation at the elbow, so that just all moves very smoothly right there. It looks good. And his feet look good too. We've got some more of those little black circles on there. And then the two-tone color, of course, that we see throughout this whole figure and pretty much throughout the line. So yeah, this is a very nice looking Kerma figure, <laughs> whoever the hell that is. And then as for Mondo Gecko, he came out really nice too. I especially like this face sculpt. I think they did a great job with it. The eyes are really, really dope. I feel like they're a little bit different from the way they looked in the cartoon, but I think they came out very, very nice. And I like how they kind of have a, like a devious kind of look to him, you know? Like he doesn't look very trustworthy. And that's very fitting for the character because, you know, he started off as a bad guy, then he becomes a good guy. But yeah, those eyes kind of sell that whole idea, like maybe you shouldn't trust them. Maybe I'm thinking a little bit too much about the eyes. They kind of have me captivated, you know? They look really, really dope. <laughs> but yeah, they came out nice. And then we do have the hair hanging down from the hat. Speaking of the hat, the hat is soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking the, the bill here. And same thing for the hair. You don't have to worry about breaking that. But yeah, this is a really good looking head sculpt. And then check out the paintwork on the teeth. It's all very clean and crisp and really well done. And then you can also open up his mouth, which is really dope because it pretty much changes the whole look of the head. And to do a mouth like this seems very difficult, but NECA always does a good job when they decide to do it. 
and with Mondo Gecko, this is like one of the best versions of it because at first I didn't even know that his mouth was able to open. And once I was messing around with it, I was like, oh man, that's cool. <laughs> or actually, I noticed the lines and then I was like, oh, his mouth opens? Nice. And then for the mouth, it's pretty much all black in there except for the tongue being painted. So again, it does give it that animated vibe. So I really like that. And then as you can see, he does have the two-tone thing going on. Just like all the other NECA animated turtle figures. Moving down into the body. His yellow shirt looks really good. Very nice and clean. He's got the logo on his chest. I'm not 100% sure what that logo is. But I imagine it's like some type of homage to Mr. X. His father figure. But that looks really nice. Very clean and crisp. Paintwork on the logo. And I think they did a good job there. We do have some black lines here to... Uh, accentuate that animated feel some more black lines on the back i always love that and then we have like uh his shirt that looks all ripped his crop top <laughs> that looks good so really nice work on the shirt and then moving down into the arms he does have an elbow pad that has just like a little spike on it and then for the hands the hands look really good too i did notice that the the paint isn't as crisp on the fingertips or where it goes from the gloves to the fingers the paint isn't as crisp as I'm used to seeing from the NECA turtle stuff. It's not a big deal, and it's just some, but it's just something I noticed when I was kind of looking closely at the figure. But uh, yeah, not a big deal at all. And then moving down into the lower body, he's got his purple shorts with the two-tone purple and the black lines, and then the ripped-up pant legs here. And then he does have a knee pad with the spike on it, and then on this side we've got a knee pad with the nice-looking skull. So that looks nice. And the shoes are very well done too, very nicely sculpted and nicely painted. So these came out really, really nice. You've got the shoelaces on there and the red shell toes. So really, really dope. And then last but not least, we have his tail. And the tail is removable. In fact, it was detached from the figure inside of the packaging. So you have to kind of plug that in there. But it looks really good. I like the colors on it, the blue on the bottom, then the green and the yellow spikes. So that looks really nice. And yeah, I think they did an incredible job on the look of this figure, and they always do, so that's no surprise at all. Um, like I said, there's some areas where the paint isn't as crisp as I've come to expect from the NECA Turtle line, but it wasn't a big deal, and it's really just the fingertips, to be honest with you. Aside from that, there's pretty much no problems on this whole figure. All the paintwork is pretty much perfect, so I'm very happy with the way this guy looks as far as the sculpt and the paintwork goes. And then aside from Kerma, Mondo Gecko does come with a bunch of other really cool accessories, including two different sets of hands. So first off, we have a set of flat hands that could be used to make it look like he's trying to keep his balance when he's on his skateboard and then he does come with a set of gripping hands that could be used to hold on to the gun that he comes with or the bag of money that he comes with and then he also comes with some type of device that could be used to put onto his arm and I think it's some kind of thing that like can control him or something like that and then next up it looks like he has a little explosion device with a timer on the front of it and then finally he comes with a younger version of himself and then taking a close look at the details on the accessories starting off with the money bag i think this is pretty nice there's not a whole lot going on with it but it is well sculpted it does have the black lines on it and i kind of wish that it had like a dollar sign on it so you know exactly what it was but i think this is cool that they threw this in there because before mondo got down with the turtles he was out there committing crimes robbing people and stuff like that so this is a cool way to represent that and the next up we have little baby Mondo Gecko. This is the way that he looked before he ran through the ooze and was raised by Mr. X. So this is a nice little thing to throw in there. And then next we have uh, this little explosive device. It's kind of hollow and light, but this is a cool little thing. I'm a little scared to break these things right here, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. These wires, thankfully, are very soft, so you don't have to worry about breaking those. But uh, I wonder if this number here is an Easter egg. I bet it is. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. But this is, I like this right here. This is a nice little explosive device. And then we've got his blaster. And this blaster is really dope. I like all the details on it. I like how it has the yellow line down the barrel there. I think that's awesome. Small little things like that make, uh, make things look a lot better, you know. Like it just adds a little bit more to it. So this looks good. And then look at the grip on the handle. Yeah, this is really... Very well detailed, and I like the different shades of blue on here. You know, yeah, this is nice. I like this blaster a lot. And I don't think we've seen this blaster before. I don't think this is just like a generic turtle cartoon weapon. Or it might be, who knows, but 
I was watching a couple of clips of like some of Mondo Gecko's appearances and he had this exact gun so I don't know if he got it from one of the uh, other characters or something but seems like this might be his actual gun specifically done for him but yeah this is awesome and then last but not least we have his skateboard and this came out really nice check out his supercharged exhaust here in the back so he could uh, get away from the crime scene as soon as possible so this is nice really nice paintwork on this I like the design on the uh, actual board itself we've got these flames very fitting for the character and then there's a peg for him to stand on so that's nice and then the wheels actually spin too so you could kind of ride them around but yeah this is awesome not a whole lot going on on this side but this is a good looking skateboard and then for some quick size comparisons, we have them alongside the NECA Michelangelo from the Turtles in Disguise 2-pack and the NECA Rasputin from the Frogs 2-pack. And then now here we have them alongside the Super 7 Bebop and the NECA Bebop. And I'm not too sure if I'm going to get the Super 7 Mondo Gecko. I think it looks pretty good and it looks exactly like the action figure that it's based on. But I think I might just be good with this one here. We'll have to see. And then now here we have them alongside the NECA Foot Clan Soldier and the NECA Shredder. And then now here we have them alongside the Super 7 second best turtle Leonardo and the SH Figure Arts undisputed turtle champ, greatest turtle of all time, Raphael. And then next up we have them alongside the NECA Baxter Stockman and the NECA Master Splinter. And then for the final size comparison here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. Alright, so now for the articulation, we've already talked about Kerma, so we're not going to worry about him too much. We're just going to focus on Mondo Gecko. And Mondo Gecko's articulation feels very similar to that of the NECA Frog figures because there are a couple of design similarities, like the shirt and the shorts and everything. So as a result, the articulation does feel very similar. But I'm okay with that because I like the articulation on those figures, and now I like it on this figure. But let's go ahead and get into it, starting off with the head. I do like the way they did the head and neck. We have movement at the upper neck and at the lower neck using both of those. <laughs> His head gets some pretty crazy range. Check that out. So that's pretty nice. And then it can look side to side. He could look up to right there, which is pretty decent. Oops, and then he could look down to right there. So really nice movement at the head and neck. And then he does have an articulated jaw, as I mentioned before. <laughs> but man, I, I really love that. So it opens to right there. Maybe a tiny bit more. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> man, that's cool. And then for the torso, we do have a diaphragm cut. With the diaphragm cut, he can twist. He can lean side to side. Can go back to about right there which is not very much and then it goes forward only to about right there so not a whole lot going forward i do wish that he was able to crunch forward a little bit more but yeah that's about as far as it's going to go and then he does have a waist swivel and then for the arms they do go all the way around they come out to the side to right there which is pretty good man yeah they come up pretty high so that's nice. And let's see here. His shoulders are pretty big, so his arms don't really get in front of him as much as I would like. I wish they were able to get in front of him just a little bit more. But yeah, pretty good stuff at the shoulders. And then he does have upper bicep swivel. He has single jointed elbows. They get pretty much about 90. Oh, we've got a little bit of paint chipping there. His elbows get about 90. Yeah, there we go. And then he does have a swivel at the elbow too. And then at the hand, we have a swivel and a hinge. So the arms are pretty decent, I would say. And then for the legs, they come up only to about right there. So not a whole lot. He's got that standard NECA hip style where you have that like soft piece kind of covering the joints and I think it looks awesome I like the way it covers the joints and it still allows for some pretty decent movement like I said you could get his leg up to about right there I'm scared to I don't want to like crease this like soft uh, pelvis piece by moving the, the leg too much you know so I'm always cautious there but I think right there you could safely get his leg up to about right there without having to worry about putting too much pressure on this area so that's good and then you could kick his leg out to the side. I uh, can't really go back all that much. Uh, just a little bit, actually. And then we do have upper thigh swivel. 
right in the shorts there, so that's nice. Then he's got double jointed knees. Bam, th those get a really nice bend. At the foot, we have a hinge. It goes up and down, and we do have rocking ankles. I do wish there was a swivel in there, but there's no swivel, so uh, that's one thing that I feel is missing. And then for the tail, it's on a little ball joint, so you could kind of twist it around, move it around, do all kinds of good stuff. So, yeah. Really nice articulation on Mondo Gecko. Um, there's a few things I wish were a little bit different. Mostly I just wish that he had uh, some kind of swivel at the lower foot. It seems like they could have hidden it in there pretty well, but for whatever reason, uh, they like to not do that on the animated turtle stuff. But aside from that, I'm very happy with the articulation, and the figure is extremely fun to pose around and play with. So, um, yeah, I love it. All right, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, I think this is an awesome set. Both of these figures came out very nice. Kerma, there's not a whole lot to him, and it's hard to consider him just a full-on figure himself, but he's much more than an accessory, and I think he looks great. He's going to look awesome on the shelf, and I'm happy that they threw him in here. Mondo Gecko is freaking awesome. Everything about him is pretty much perfect. I can't think of anything that I wish was different. I just think they did a really great job with him, and I'm very happy with it. Lots of cool accessories, great-looking figure, and just a whole lot of fun. So, they killed it. Every single time NECA comes out with a new figure in this line, I'm always like, oh, this is the best one they've done so far. So that's awesome because every single time they put something out, it's always impressive and it just seems to be getting better and better. Before this, I was like, oh, the frogs are the best thing ever. Before that, I was like, Baxter Stockman and Splinter are the best things ever. Before that, I was like, Casey Jones, you know, I get all into it. And then like <laughs> they come along and put something else out that I'm equally as impressed by. And I'm just like, oh, I love this. This is the latest and greatest, you know. And it's cool to see a line that continuously gets better and just always impresses. So very good stuff. This is one of my favorite lines. And I'm happy that NECA are taking steps to make it easier to buy these figures. Because I was able to find these in Target, which is already weird. But then on top of that, NECA did make Mondo Gecko and Muckman available for pre-order. And it's not like they sold out in five minutes, you know. They they were up there for quite a while. Muckman especially. I think Mondo Gecko might have sell, sold out kind of quick, but it wasn't like in a couple of minutes. I think it was like within an hour or something like that. But, you know, they're they're trying to take steps to make these awesome figures available to everyone. And I feel like slowly but surely they're getting there and then they're also improving on the quality control so you know NECA it's one of my favorite companies they they don't aside from turtles they don't really cover a lot of licenses that I love you know they do a lot of horror stuff and I'm not a big horror fan but I continue to buy their horror figures because they're killing it and you know I, I just really like what they have going on can't wait for the Goliath figure from Gargoyles that should be coming out pretty soon I wouldn't be surprised if that figure started to show up in people's hands in the next couple of weeks, but we'll see. I know it was scheduled to come out in August or July, August, so that's where we're at. But yeah, man, I'm really excited about that figure, and I just really like what NECA has going on, so hopefully they continue to kill it. <laughs> and yeah, these figures are dope. And you know what? Something that just occurred to me. Mondo Gecko really reminds me of Poochie from The Simpsons, and I was thinking, like, how cool would it be to get a NECA Poochie, or just the Simpsons line from NECA? I think they would do... Like, like an incredible job with that but uh, <laughs> but yeah mondo gecko reminds me of poochie and that kind of cracks me up and with that i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that i go live thank you very much peace